What's going on guys and welcome to another reputized video. Avengers Infinity War. Yes, I'm going to talk about that. So what better time to talk about that since because of the new Avengers trailer that just dropped. So why not talk about this movie? Okay, this stars a lot of people, folks. I'm not even going to go through it because there's a lot. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep this brief. Just by mentioning the cast alone, probably take about five minutes. Avengers Infinity War is all about the Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy who teams up to battle Thanos, a mad titan set to destroy half of humanity by collecting these stones, Infinity Stones. And, oh, what a movie this was. This came out back in May of this year. And it was a real good, real big success. One of the most expensive movies ever made by Marvel. Around 315 to 400 million, if I'm remembering correctly, it took to make. And it made over $2 billion. Okay, so going right into the positives. Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely's script was just... Awesome. The story, what they told. Like I said, I never read the comics, but I can tell firsthand of how much it was praised and how good it was acted and everything. I can tell they knew their material. These filmmakers, they know what they're doing. The story was awesome. The characters was really great. Trent Opalach's cinematography and lighting work was just superb. It was lit up just perfectly. He knew how to light it up just perfectly, but for a movie with such a dark tone, he he did an amazing job. He actually made you feel what these characters was going through and seeing. Jeffrey Ford and Matthew Schmidt's editing style was just excellent. It wasn't choppy. It wasn't anything out of the ordinary. It was just done well. They took their time, just like with every Marvel movie. They took their time editing it and piecing it together. And it was just, it was great. There was no continuity errors that I could see because of their editing style, which is how good they've done it. The characters was written really well. You get Guardians of the Galaxy. You get Avengers. You get all of them. Doctor Strange. Everybody. Josh Brolin did an amazing job as Thanos. Anthony and Joe Russo, or as I like to call them, the Russo brothers, did an, a terrific job directing this film and its characters and Thanos. He is a force to be reckoned with. Forget Ultron, forget Whiplash, forget all the other villains that we dealt with up to this point because everything has been leading up to this point and Thanos, he is no joke. He doesn't play around. He is the most powerful being that the Avengers has ever faced. I think in the history of comic books, even though I don't really read comic books, I think he's like the toughest supervillain there is. That's just my opinion. But Josh Rowland, he played that character out to the max. And I feel like he delivered just right. This is definitely Thanos' movie. I feel like this movie has been a long time in the making, even before they even started the MCU. Because each of the storyline that you would see up to this point actually pointed to this point. That's all I'm saying. Chris Pratt's character as Star-Lord was really awesome, just like in Guardians of the Galaxy. He was on top of his game. He had that smart-ass quality about him. And uh, he made me laugh sometimes. Dave Bautista, he was pretty good, just like in Guardians of the Galaxy. He, his character was the same, only he was interacting with the Avengers, and he was pretty hilarious. And all the cast members did an amazing job on this. Every actor that played in this, they poured their heart and soul into this film. I could really tell. Every time I mention this to people, Vin Diesel actually plays Groot. But his voice is like high-pitched to make him sound like a kid or a teenager or whatever. He even played Groot in the first two Guardians of the Galaxy. He was the grown-up Groot in the first one, and he was the little baby Groot in the second one, but it was Vin Diesel. A lot of people get shocked by that every time I talk to him. But now that's Dom doing Groot's voice. <laughs> yeah, from Fast and Furious. <laughs> Alright, the only negative I have about this, and it may not be a problem to most of you, and it really wasn't a problem for me, but as I started watching it and watching it over and over again, 
I don't know. I felt like the running time was a little too long. It clocks in at about 2 hours and 17 minutes. That's without the credits. Altogether, about 2 hours and 29 minutes with credits. I just felt like they could have kind of trimmed it down just a little bit. But again, that's not a major, major issue for me. I felt like they could have trimmed it down just a little bit. Maybe like 2 hours and 5 minutes without credits. Somewhere around there. But again, I'm not complaining about that. I have to stay true for what I say, guys. I don't want to lie to y'all. I felt like this movie was definitely something that the fans wanted. Especially the fans that actually read the comic books. I felt like this movie did it justice for everybody because this was the highest grossing and the most successful film of the whole entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. Every film they made up to this point did really decent. But this one... They went far beyond, guys. The money spoke for itself. My final thoughts on this, it's a true masterpiece. It's a true Marvel comic masterpiece of its kind. And I would recommend it to anybody out there, even for people like me that don't read the comics, that aren't really comic book fans. You will still enjoy this movie for what it is. An action-packed movie about superheroes trying to save the world. Avengers Infinity War gets an A+. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized. Be sure to subscribe to the Reactor Reactions Galore, which is down in the description below. And also make sure to like the Repster and the Reactor on Facebook, which is also down below in the description. What did y'all think of Avengers Infinity War? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. Paste the rep out.